if you are looking for the best 3D printers 2024, well, you're in the right place. We've dug deep and conducted extensive research, and now we're breaking down the absolute best 3D printers 2024. We're talking about the perfect balance between price and performance, tailored for different scenarios. If you're eager to find out which suits you best, don't go anywhere. Stick around till the end, because we've got all the links for the best prices in the description below. No specific order, just the top contenders in the game. Ready to dive into the world of Best 3D Printers 2024? Let's get started! Number 5. Prusa MK4 Best Premium 3 D Printer As the sequel to the MK3 S Plus, the MK4 does not disappoint. Prusa's new flagship printer has maintained its reputation as the premium printer for makers of all levels. At a price point of $1,099 for a pre-assembled machine and $799 for a DIY kit, the MK4 is one of the most expensive printers on our list. That price may sound exorbitant for some hobbyists, but for makers who want top quality performance and stellar customer service, the MK4 is worth the investment. From fully automatic bed leveling, dual Z axis, magnetic flex plate and color LCD screen to a webcam, USB and Wi-Fi connectivity. These are just some of the features that come with the Prusa MK4. It also has new firmware that allows for faster printing without any loss in print quality. We were also impressed by how quietly this machine operates. Additionally, Prusa is offering an upgrade kit for MK3S Plus owners for just $579. The USB stick has several pre-sliced models to show what the MK4 can do. I picked the Robo Alpaca, which is support-free and full of intricate details and overhangs. The print turned out crisp and perfect. Printed in the supplied Galaxy Black, pre-sliced by Prusa Research with a 0.2 layer height, this took 4 hours and 53 minutes to print with input shaping. Prusa's MK4 sticks the landing with exceptional performance and amazing improvements to auto bed leveling, while still keeping a path to upgrade for MK3 owners. Number 4. Elagu Neptune 4 Pro Best 3D printer for beginners, the Elagu Neptune 4 Pro may look suspiciously like a typical Creality Ender 3 clone, but that's where the similarities end. Equipped with a powerful part cooling fan, dual threaded Z-axis rods, automatic build platform calibration, and an extruder module absolutely packed with functionality, the Neptune 4 Pro jumped straight onto our best 3D printers list as soon as it was out of the box. For beginners looking for a capable machine with a fast startup and a low entry price, the sub dollar 300 Neptune 4 Pro is our choice to recommend. Common failure points for beginners include adhesion to the build platform, which can be caused by either a non-adhesive platform or a poor calibration. The textured PEI sheet on the Neptune 4 Pro keeps parts locked down during printing, but releases them after cooling, allowing for an effortless part removal. The 121-point automatic calibration compensates for unevenness on the platform and helps users to dial in the perfect print. Add in a direct drive extruder, linear rods for lightning fast travel moves, an intuitive touchscreen, and suddenly the value of the Neptune 4 Pro becomes clear. The Neptune 4 Pro is simple enough for a beginner to assemble in only a few hours, but has enough features and horsepower to allow users to grow with the printer. This clipper-equipped printer is capable of easily hitting dizzying print speeds, while the included part cooling module can lock the filament in place immediately after extruding. Number 3. Creality Ender 3V3 SE Best Budget FDM 3D Printer, there has never been a more user-friendly sub-$200 3D printer than Creality's Ender 3 V3 SE. Say goodbye to scratch builds and manual leveling. This machine takes no more than 15 minutes to assemble, then self-levels and sets its own Z height. Its modern LED interface makes the machine simple to use and comes complete with guides to walk you through filament changes and more. It's faster than previous Ender 3S with a max speed of 250 mm per S, which is mainly done by way of a robust build with linear rods on the Y axis and dual Z axis rather than speedy firmware. Obviously, Creality had to cut a few corners to produce this machine. It only has one Z stepper motor. 
the second Z axis is synced with a belt. The bed has a cheaper PC surface and there's no Wi-Fi. The Creality Ender 3 V3 SE printed great right out of the box. My first print was a pre-sliced cat from the SD card using the sample PLA provided. It printed clean with just a bit of wisps between the ears, as expected. The sample coil will only get you started, so you'll definitely want to check out our list of the best filaments for 3D printing. The Ender 3 Vi 3 SE is the latest addition to the Ender 3 lineup and at $199 underscores Creality's commitment to keeping 3D printers affordable. The inclusion of premium auto bed leveling and a modern LED interface helps set a new standard for beginner 3D printers. Its robust build ensures quality prints with increased speeds, at least when compared to previous Ender 3. Creality's latest Ender 3 is a beginner's dream with improvements previously thought of as luxuries while keeping the price extremely low. Number 2. Creality K1 Fastest 3D Printer the entire 3D printing community has fallen in love with high-speed printers, and Creality's new flagship, the K1, is looking to win you over. In clear response to the competition, Creality has introduced a speedy, fully enclosed Core XY machine. It boasts a maximum print speed of 600mm s paired with an acceleration rate of 20,000 mm per s. It can knock out a speed benchy in 15 minutes with good quality, and its normal print speed is around five times faster than old school bed slingers. The K1 is retailing at $599, the same price as Bamboo Labs Open Frame P1P. How does it compare? In our testing, the K1 is just as fast as both the P1P and P1S with a better interface and the ability to avoid unreliable cloud printing by using a USB stick or your private LAN. The K1 is a Core XY machine, a speedy style that Creality hasn't tried since the ill-fated Ender 7. This machine is twice as fast and with the help of Clipper's input shaping can produce excellent quality at speed. It has an all-metal hotend with a bespoke volcano-style nozzle, a Sprite direct drive extruder, and an enclosure for handling temperature-sensitive material like ABS and ASA. It's one of the few plug-and-play 3D printers on the market, Arriving 99.5% assembled. All you need to do is unbox and unpack the printer, and like its rival at Bamboo Labs, it can calibrate itself. Number 1. Bamboo Lab P1S Best 3 D Printer Overall Today's 3D printers are all about speed, and Bamboo Labs P1S delivers a whopping maximum print speed of 500 mm s backed with an acceleration rate of 20,000 mm per s. How fast is that? Let's just say its turbo button is labeled ludicrous mode. It can knock out a speed benchy in 17 minutes with good quality, and its normal print speed is around five times faster than old school bed slingers. It's not the most budget-minded printer, but it has the best out-of-the-box experience for both beginners and experienced makers. The P1S is the Goldilocks of Bamboo Labs lineup, offering everything you need for very good, very fast prints without going overboard on expensive features. It's a Core XY machine, which offers both speed and smooth printing. It has an all-metal hotend with a direct drive extruder. Plus, it's fully enclosed for handling temperature-sensitive material like ABS and ASA. It's one of the few plug-and-play 3D printers on the market, arriving 99.5% assembled. All you need to do is unbox and unpack the printer. It even calibrates itself. The machine retails for $699, which may not fit everyone's budget. But if you're looking for a machine that just works so you can focus on the creative or business side of 3D printing, the P1S is for you. If you want the ability to print in a rainbow of colors, then the optional automatic multicolor system is a definite plus that you can only get with a Bamboo Lab printer. When we tested the P1S, it did an amazing job. Quickly printing colorful action figures, nylon gears for an RC car, and ASA tools for around the house. It did have to slow down to print TPU, but the results were remarkably smooth and 